today we're going to be checking out the Storm 2 Slim from Shargeek, which is one of the most interestingly designed 20,000 mAh power banks on the market. It features blazing fast outputs and inputs, a real-time display which gives you a ton of information, and it's designed to be highly portable. And they also have a solar panel as well, which we'll be testing out at the end of the video. But before we dive in, be sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. The transparent fireproof case is a really cool feature, as it gives you a glimpse inside. And in my opinion, it's one of the nicest looking power banks on the market. And you can see the four 2100 5000 mAh batteries inside. The edges are also rounded and it feels very comfortable to grip. And it also has a good impact resistance. There's a 30 watt USB-A output on top of the device and also a PD100 USB-C input output combo, which you can use to charge the power bank and charge other devices. Together they combine for 130 watts, and the USB-C port will give you some of the fastest charging speeds on the market, and the power bank itself will only take about 90 minutes to fully charge with a 65 watt max input. The Storm 2 Slim should be compatible with nearly all USB devices, including laptops, phones, and iPads, and it can also charge two devices simultaneously. There's a button on the side which turns it on and off, and an IPS display screen which will let you know the remaining battery life of the power bank as a percentage so there's no guessing, the input and output specs, the running temp and the temperature of the battery which ports are working, and all this information is available to you in real time in a format that's quick and easy to digest. Shargeek also sells a solar panel that's specifically designed to charge the power station. This accordion style design is very compact, weighing in at just over a pound, and it's not much larger than the footprint of the power bank itself. You can easily unfold the panel by detaching the velcro, pulling it apart, and laying it flat, and the panel is IP54 rated, and it has a PU coating, which helps to make it weatherproof and sun resistant, and also good for outdoor adventures. There's a pocket designed specifically for the Storm 2 Slim, so it nests right inside the panel case, and is held securely in place with Velcro, and it also provides some additional protection to the power bank. There's a transparent window, so you can see your charging input information while the device is charging. There's a USB-A output, and it has a peak power of 12 watts and a 2.4 amp max current, which you can use to charge the power bank or other USB powered devices. Now we're going to do a quick test of the solar panel to see how it holds up, and we're going to leave it outside for a few hours to see how much of a charge it delivers to the Storm 2 Slim. And right now it's about 9.40 a.m. and it's January, and the weather is going to be partially cloudy today, and I'm going to leave it outside charging until about 2 p.m. The battery started with a 0% charge, and one benefit to the display is you can see charging input speeds in real time. And right now it's giving a reading of 1.18 watts and 0.26 amps. And at the end of the afternoon, we were able to charge the battery to 9%. To be honest, the performance of the solar panel was a little bit disappointing and I was expecting it to be slightly better, but there are a few ways that I think it could be slightly improved. First of all, the performance of the panels probably suffered because they were not angled directly towards the sun, and the method that I used was rather crude and can definitely be improved. Also, in January, the sun is at a relatively low angle, which makes it tough for any solar panel to perform well, and I would definitely expect the performance to be better in the summer months, especially on days when there are no clouds. Another issue I noticed is that the display stays on the whole time that the device is charging, and while it is nice to be able to see the data in real time, it's also a huge drain on the battery, so it would be great if the screen would go to sleep to help the device conserve battery life while charging. Anyways, I want to thank Shargeek for sending out the Storm 2 Slim power bank to me, and if you want to pick one up and support the channel, you can find a link down in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and if you want to check out some more solar panel power bank tests, you can find a link to a playlist down below as well.